Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanna cast back and talk through how I was able to save my first 10K in less than 12 months. Now, if you're completely new to my channel, you may not know that saving my first 10K was absolutely huge for me because a few years ago, I used to just spend all my paycheck and it honestly got to the point where I ended up being in debt. I had over 16 grand in debt and I actually had to work on paying that off and then I was eventually able to save my first 10K. So what I wanna do in this video is go beyond some of the quick tips that you can do because I have quite a lot of that on my channel already but I want to talk through some of the key mindset shifts that helped me to not only be able to first pay off my debt but to actually save up that first 10k now when i actually ended up saving my first 10k this was a couple of years ago so the world was very different we didn't have all of this high inflation we had actually just recovered from the pandemic in fact i think we were still in the middle of the pandemic when i actually saved this money but the reason why i still decided to make this video is because these mindset shifts that helped me to save my first 10k are the same mindset shifts that i have today that is still helping me to save money despite everything going on. So I definitely think that this will be useful for you, especially if you are still trying to save a lot more money this year. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first mindset shift I had, which helped me to save my first 10K, was that I stopped making excuses and took ownership. Now, this may sound a little harsh. Why am I saying that I just stopped with the excuses? Well, in my situation, when it came to saving money, I had so many different excuses excuses because I had never saved before I decided that saving wasn't for me because I haven't done it before so what's the point I also kept making the excuse of not having enough money so I told myself I would start saving when I eventually make more money but then as I started learning more about money and just building wealth in general I realized that these were just excuses I was telling myself why because during that time I'd actually just landed my first graduate job and I was earning 27k at that time time, which may not seem like a lot, especially if you live in expensive areas like London. However, my main expenses, so for example, my housing expenses, wasn't actually that much because I was actually living in a shared house with other professionals. So I was only paying about 500 a month. So in terms of my actual expenses, I didn't have a lot. And actually when I was earning that 27K, that was the most I had earned for a long time because before that I had been a student. And at the same time, I was also finishing off my part-time job at my university. So really for me, I actually had two paychecks coming in at a time and I still kept telling myself that I didn't have enough money so I couldn't save. When in reality, I actually did have enough money, but I was just making an excuse for myself. And so because of that, I decided there's no point in trying to save and if you're liking this video so far then feel free to give me a thumbs up as it really does help to support the channel plus it's free so I realized that I actually have to take accountability and ownership with the current money I have and I had to really ask myself is this the reality like do I genuinely not have enough money because some people genuinely don't have enough money to save is that the case or am I just making excuses and for me personally I I found that I was honestly just making excuses because I realized that if I truly wanted to save money, I could. If I had to look at my core bills, so for example, housing and transport, if they were already taken care of and I had enough money to pay for that, but I also had extra money to spend, did that mean that I was making an excuse when it came to saving money? And I realized that for me, it was. Another excuse I used to have in the past was just the idea that I was never taught about money. So if, for example, you weren't taught about money when it came to schools or with your family members or your parents, for example, then you may feel like, well, it's impossible to save money because I was just never taught how. And whilst there is an element to truth of that, of course, I think what I needed to realize was that at the end of the day, 
I have the ability to find out information about money. I have things like the internet. I can talk to other people about money. I can join different networking events or even buy different books to increase my knowledge about money. And it was only until I realized that actually I could take ownership of this and I took responsibility to start learning about money management and how to save money. That is when I actually took the decision that I was going to learn how to save money and also take the action to start saving money. So really ask yourself, when it comes to saving, have you kind of been making excuses for yourself? And obviously it's not amazing realizing that you maybe are making excuses, but I actually think it can liberate you because now you can ask yourself, okay, how can I just take away the excuses and now start taking responsibility for my actions and really start learning how to save money? Now, of course, if you find that you want a lot more support when it comes to being able to save more money that is what my one-on-one -on -one coaching is for so I will leave a link in the description below for you if you want to check that out but when it came to saving my first 10k I will say that one of the best things I did wasn't just you know learning about the saving tips but it was actually removing the excuses and deciding to take ownership when you now decide that you're actually going to take responsibility and you're going to save money you'll be surprised at the actions you now start to make when it comes to saving up for your first 10k. Okay, so the second mindset shift that helped me to save my first 10k in less than 12 months was the fact that I thought beyond just having savings in my bank account. Now, what do I mean by this? So sometimes when I've worked with clients, I will ask them like what their goal is and their goal is I want to have 10k in my savings account or I want to have 5k in my savings account if I just had that 5 or 10k I would be happy and in reality just having the number in your bank account honestly probably won't do very much I realized that you have to think beyond just aspiring to have a certain amount in your savings account you really have to understand okay well what is that savings going to do for you because yes it would be great to have that 5 or 10k but when you're trying to save up for that initial 5 or 10k there are going to be moments where you want to give up there are going to be moments where potentially it might feel a bit difficult especially if you start making a lot of mistakes so you have to ask yourself well what's going to help me keep going what is going to motivate you just having that number in that account probably won't motivate you however if you realize that you need that money in that account because you want to build an emergency fund because you don't want to have to you know go into debt if something happens or you don't want to have to depend on asking money from other people well then that will probably motivate you to keep saving so when I was thinking about saving up for that 10k I had to ask myself okay well what are those savings going to do for me so for example in my case I really wanted to save up for my first ever emergency fund because there was a time where I had a maxed out overdraft I had literally pennies in my bank account and my car broke down they took it to the garage and they told me that I was going to have to pay over 200 just to fix it and I literally broke down because I was asking myself where on earth am I going to get this money I had maxed out my overdraft by two grand already and I had no money in my current account and so I actually had to call people up I had to call my mom I had to call my partner up asking to borrow money from them because I didn't have it and I realized that I did not want to go back into that situation ever again so for me I told myself by fire by force with God's help I will be building up that emergency fund I will save up for that emergency fund because I didn't want to go back into that situation again so for me when I was trying to save up for that money it wasn't just about having 10k in that account because honestly that's just more of a vanity metric but it was for me to understand this is what that 10k could do for me and when I truly understood that I was then even more determined to save for that 10k very quickly okay so the third mindset shift I had to saving my first 10k was the fact that I had the idea that I would be intimate with my numbers now again hear me out because this probably sounds weird but when I'm talking about being intimate with my numbers I'm just really talking about understanding my numbers really understanding my finances now I was not a perfect math student back at school in fact I was pretty average and I don't really think you need to be good at maths that much in order to be good with money but what I realized is that I really needed to understand 
where my money was going. I needed to understand what was happening with my finances. And I say this because I realized that if I actually want to save up for my first 10K and if I wanna be able to save consistently, I need to know how much I'm spending. I need to know how much I can realistically save. And I could only do that if I was intimate with my numbers and if I could understand what was going on. So if I could understand exactly how much I was spending and how much I would be able to save, then of course I would be able to save my first 10K. And so what that meant was truly understanding where everything was going. And rather than just taking an educated guess, thinking that, oh, I spend this much, I actually took the time to have a look and see exactly how much I was spending. So in this case, I knew exactly what my income was every month and I also knew how much I was spending. So I knew exactly how much my essential bills came to, I knew how much my debt repayments came to, I knew roughly how much I was spending on groceries, on transport, on clothing, on eating out, going to the cinema, anything else I knew how much it would come to. And let me be clear, I was not sitting down every single day looking through each bank statement, staring at my account, thinking about how much I spent. No, I had an app that did it for me. So I would know by the end of the month, okay, this is how much I spent on transport and this is how much I spent on groceries. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to see realistically how much I could save and then determine whether I may need to be a bit more creative. Maybe I need to spend less in different areas or maybe I just simply need to make a bit more money so that I can still save the amount that I want to save. So getting intimate with your numbers does not not have to be this long grueling process where all you do is just look at your bank account. No, when I'm saying just be intimate with your numbers, all I'm saying is you just want to have an idea in terms of what's happening with your money. What is coming in versus what is going out. If you have that idea, it is then easier for you to tell yourself how much realistically you're going to be able to save and then it kind of makes it easier for you to save that money, but also you're then able to spend that money at the same time. Now, if you realize that actually you really wanna be able to save for your first five or 10K, but you've really been struggling when it comes to things like your spending, or maybe you just don't know where your money is going and you think you really do need more support with that so that you can actually hit that five or 10K, then make sure you do check out my one-on-one -on -one coaching because what I've been able to do is help so many of my clients clients literally save so much more consistently that saving their first five or 10k they're able to do it in months rather than years so make sure you do check that out if you haven't already what you can do is just book a free call just to find out more about working with me so I'll link more information up here for you and in the description below but when it comes to saving up for my first 10k yes there were things that helped me when it came to strategy like for example having a budget and actually having a plan and thinking about how much I want to save each month but I would say that one of the core things that underpinned this was the fact that I had these free mindset shifts that helped me to again take accountability and stop making excuses think beyond just having savings in the account plus I was then thinking about being more intimate with my numbers when I did those three things this truly truly transformed me to start saving much more consistently and I was able to then save that 10k in less than 12 months and if that's a specific goal for you then I have total faith that by doing those three things you can do it too so if you did like this video then please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and let me know in the comments do you have a goal of saving up for your first 10k I do post every Tuesday so if you would like to know more then of course you can subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next week